Hi folks, um, another Prezi from Paradise. I think this is another one of my medieval challenge. Nick at Weddy with the at Medieval Warrior. Let's have a look, see what we get. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yes. Got out all the k pop and stuff. Get rid of that. So what I've gone for this time is uh, AO4. It's uh, Warriors. Now, oh look at them. That's some nice, nice, nice. Just zoom in. That's some nice, nice <laughs> weapons. Look at those bills. So you get a set of six. Oh, they really go overboard, and you? you get six bills for six figures. Um, these are the basic. I think they're sort of brigandy types, are they? Billmen. He's a nice figure. That's a nice medieval figure. Or this is a bassinet type, is it? Bassinet. Um, more of a medium infantry guy there. Not much armor on him other than his helmet. And there we've got a guy in a, is it called a, a brigantine I think isn't it, the coat? I think that's called a bri brigantine or whatever. Look like hoops, hoops of leather sewn together. Um, oh yeah, another one with a padded, padded surcoat and he's got, is he, van braces? No, no, they're just leather, lots of leather work. Bit of chain mail and a kettle hat. Oh, an enormous buckler's shield. <laughs> That's really going to work, isn't it? Um, and another guy in a helmet. Uh, what's he got? Mail coif, is it? And coif, whatever. And uh, padded surcoat type. Right, anyway. I'll have to get busy on these. Um, let's see what Nick thinks. Um, more hundred years war. Okay. I'll get some uh, get some progress and come back here. Okay, right. So I've got the first coats. We've got a bit of uh, it shows up over here. We've got a bit of flesh on there. Um, flesh on those guys are wearing gloves there and we've got uh, where they've got the stockings are all down as you can probably see there and that one as well stockings are all down often the case I assume it's dysentery <laughs> there was a lot of dysentery about in the hundred years war and we've got a basic wash and skin tones and I've started with a khaki I tend to use a um, what I call a dirty palette, so I just keep mixing from going from colour to colour, which gets you a really good mix of, uh, of shades. Um, yeah, so what I'll do, I'll carry on, get a few more shades on, and uh, yep, yeah, I'll come back to you. Okay. Right, a bit more progress. Um, most of the figures are now blocked in. Uh, as you can see, some are virtually finished. This guy's virtually finished. Um, what I've got to do, a bit of metal work on the dagger. Uh, so this one's got to have the belt. Uh, this one's, um, what he's virtually finished, a bit of metal work. I'll just to add some, yeah, metal work on the, the metal coif and the helmet and the pot hat and then the, the uh, sword handle. This one, what's he up to? Bit of metal work on him and he's finished. Um, just um, shaded this guy up, yeah. He's virtually finished, metal work on the sword. This one's got a nice blue coat, it's got a bit of shading on that. Um, the legs and stockings and boots are completed. What's he got? A bit of metal work on the sword and the coif and the helmet. But there we go, virtually finitoed, and that's the uh, the weapons array, which I'm now about to. Uh, I think I'll get painted up first before I snip them off, because I can uh, I can hold the uh, the glaive here, is it glaive? I think it's a glaive, isn't it? I can hold that. 
paint the uh, wooden handles, glue them on and then just finish off the metal work. I think I'll do a, a chain mail wash on that because it's a bit too silvery, aren't they? Yeah. There we go. Anyway, that's where we are. So I'll get that and I think the next time I'll come back they'll be uh, they'll be virtually completed, varnished probably and uh, sand and glued. Okay, right back in a tick. Right, the boys are done. Um, all uh, varnished up as I show you. There's uh, that one varnished. Up, uh, it shows, does it? I put a oops. <laughs> Put a little white cross on him. I managed to do that on that one. Little white cross. Uh, I've also got a little white cross on this guy, which is partly hidden by his uh, glaive. Is it or glaive? Um, this is the only chainmail guy, isn't it? In a uh, chainmail top, little buckler shield, and this one's wearing a hooped. Um, is it gambeson or whatever it's called? Yeah, something like that, or surcoat. Hooped. I've done some of them with the odd legs. I don't know if they had the odd leg in in the in the hundred years uh, wars. I assume they did. I've seen pictures, and that one's got a white cross there just underneath his pole arm. So uh, anyway, all varnished up. So I'll set to now with the uh, basing, and then come back and uh, show the uh, the finished object. So back in a tick. Well, there we go. They're all done. All beneath or the base top. Some top. Just put some tops again, like I did with the peasants the other last week. Uh, some tops were green and some tops without green on. We got that guy with his nice little uh, little white cross, which I think he shows up today. And uh, a few tops there. Uh, guy there. As you can see. Uh, I don't know what MW, sorry, Medieval Warrior is going to think of these. I don't know if he was impressed with my peasants. He said they look nice, but I think he was thinking he'd be as easy. So I thought, right, let's get some topper troops. Uh, and these are sort of uh, sort of middle ranking. I mean, the, the Perrys call them brigands, but I mean, they look, just look like ordinary soldiers to me. I'm no expert on the Hundred Years' War, so. I'll have to see what uh, Nick, a medieval warrior, thinks uh, when I post these. He might be impressed, then again, he might not. He's difficult to please sometimes. But, uh, yep, there we go. Um, okay, painting wise, not ever so impressed with the facial expressions. Very difficult. I know they're wearing chainmail uh, hoods and um, sort of pot hats, but I think there's a bit of almost lazy sculpting on these there's nothing much in the face and often it's the face that you can sort of bring out a figure um, but now i found it very difficult to uh, to get anything i mean you've basically got eyes and nose on most of them so it's difficult to bring out any uh, any light on the facial expressions but uh, the coats are good, uh, some nice shading you can get on these um, coats, I mean that's a particularly nice one, it shades really well. Um, I did some dry brushing, brown wash, dry brushing and then the, uh, what did it, flesh wash on this, that worked really well. Um, the blues had a couple of shades, no three shades of blue on that and then a, a, a dark wash on it. Um, this one's not too bad, that's just supposed to be an unbleached cloth. It's okay, perhaps I should have gone for another colour, but I mean, they can't all be colourful. Um, chain mail on that, not too bad. Obviously a plain bleached or cotton smock underneath. And then this one I did a sort of red leather band sewn together again. It is shaded, it's not showing too much. I think it does in the picture, but um, yeah, shaded up. Anyway, there we go. I'll put some stills at the end, let you guys have a look. Um, so, thanks a lot, and uh, bye for now.